Hello there. Hello. Hello. Heyo, good morning. I'm on my way to work. Uh, yesterday I tried a new route and it was not as good as I had hoped because halfway there I came across a closed road because <laughs> of redoing a bridge and so I'm gonna pick a new route today and hopefully get to work earlier. Ooh. Excuse me. Um, yeah, I don't know. I guess I didn't pack a lunch because I need to go shopping badly. But I do have some stuff in the fridge I need to finish up. It's just things that I don't want to bring for lunch, like corn. It's easier to make in my own microwave or boil at my own stove. Don't really feel like making it and then bringing it to work. Because that's, I don't know, I feel like leftover corn is not as good. <sighs> but yeah, gotta go to work. So you'll see me when I'm done. Work, 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 work. It's a me heavy work, work. And it's Friday! Oh man, this week was so long because I wasn't super busy and so I had to pretend to be busy and that just takes a lot of energy and it made it go very slowly because when you're stressed with projects and things you need to finish, it seems to go so much faster. Uh, so I was, it was a rough week. Anyway, right now I'm going to go on a bike ride. Uh, it's really humid out, very humid, and I don't have the air conditioning set up in my house yet, so it's probably really warm in there, so I'm going to avoid sitting in my room and probably just go on a bike ride, because why not? I just made it back from work, and I have noticed that Josh, or maybe Ryan, but probably Josh, has set up the AC units. We've got four of them in this unit, which is actually really nice. Our landlord is super nice and pays for electricity, so... She's paying for that, which is keeping this house actually kind of cool. It's really nice. So there's another one here. Da, 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 da. And I have one that I'm supposed to put up in my room. I was just kind of lazy to do it myself. So I'm going to put a window unit up in my room because it's actually kind of cool out right now. It's not super warm. It's supposed to be humid, but it's not as bad as I thought it was going to be. So let's see if there's any left for me to set up in my place. So this bad boy needs to get in that window. Somehow. Don't really know what I'm doing. Actually, I have no idea what I'm doing, but we're gonna make it work. Hopefully, it don't break any windows because they broke a window upstairs trying to get one of theirs out. And ta da! The AC unit is in the window. Now I just need to figure out how to plug it in. The only outlets I have, there's two over there one over there and one right there. And I gotta get a cord around. So I've got this extension cord that runs, you know, from behind the desk around here up to here. That sits right there. And this cord right here kind of goes behind my bed somewhere. I think it's underneath my bed right now because it doesn't quite reach to the, like the other side of my bed. So I have to plug it in somewhere. I don't, I don't know. Ugh, I'm hot. It's getting warm. And she works. Oh, listen to that. That is the sound of some cold air coming into this warm, humid abode. Whew, I'm getting kind of sweaty. <laughs> I don't know if we're going to go on a bike ride anymore. Nobody wants to go. Emily kind of wanted to go, but she has not responded, so maybe we won't be. I don't know. TBD. Also, why is this window open? Okay, okay. So you open the window and turn on the AC units. What is that going to do? Ay, yeah, yeah. Wasting electricity. Yep. <laughs> What's wrong? So we are, and by we I mean Emily and I, because nobody else wanted to come biking. We're going biking in the sauna of the earth because it is very humid out. I'm sweating and I'm literally just standing here. You're gonna fall. All right, off to an adventure. I don't really know where we're going. I think we're going to go to Minnehaha. Don't know how to get there exactly, but I know the general direction. Oh my God, hold on. Oh my God. I don't have, I don't have front brakes. And we're back. <laughs> Just kidding. I mean, we are back, but we got to campus. And then my tire, I don't think it popped. It, inflate, it deflated. Not sure how. Pumped it back up, because luckily we were by a pump station thing. Oh. But I'm kind of hesitant to drive it now, so we're going to find another bike to ride. I just replaced my tire with another tire that I found in our garage, which probably isn't kosher as far as bikes go, but I know it's skinnier than my other one, but it fit on my bike. There's like six bikes in our garage and I just grabbed one that was kind of already taken apart because I assumed that nobody was riding it and they wouldn't miss a tire that was not on a bike for a while. Yeah, it's working though, so let's try this. We're on our way to Minnehaha, and we're having a hard time. Ooh, it's almost down by the river. We're having a hard time finding a bridge to cross. Ooh, this is gonna be awkward. Passing people. Am I in it? 
Uh, I don't know, but those people were. And now you are. Hello there. Hello. Hello. Um, but yeah, we need to cross the river. I just don't know how or where. Oh, wait. Uh, what? We have to go that way. Kinda. But I mean, yeah. We finally found a bridge! <laughs> Crossing over to Minnehaha. Maybe finding some food, because I'm kinda hungry. It is humid <laughs> app out, out. We made it to Tin Fish. Where are you going? Oh, Albano. We made it to Tin Fish. It closes in like five minutes and we were worried about getting here on time because we couldn't find a way to cross the bridge. But we figured it out. We found a bridge after I GPSed it and we're here. I ordered a fish, a fried fish basket, which I'm really excited to eat because this place is really good. I came here one other time and got a fish taco. I don't know, they just have really good seafood here. It's a little bit, a little bit spendy, but it's not too bad. Um, I am worried about biking in the dark. I have a bike light, Emily does not. We're gonna stay on the bike trails though, so it should be all right. I don't know, we'll see. We sh we'll be all right, I think. We'll try to avoid the roads the best we can. Check it out, the food has arrived. Those look good. Shrimp tacos, fish basket. I should've gotten fries, I wish it would've come with fries. Oh well, oh well. Still looks good. Okay, let's get back before it gets too dark. Let's get out of here. And we're headed home, and it's getting kind of dark out, which is unfortunate because... Oh, actually, that's pretty bright. Check out that sky. Oh, yeah. It's pink and blue. Beta colors. Really? Delicate shades of pink and blue. Really? Yep. I ate a fish basket, and it was really good. I paid 11 something for like four pieces of fish, five pieces of fish. It was a healthy basket, and she got shrimp tacos, which also looked amazing. Oh, I don't have a break. Hold up. Oh, boy. Now I do. What? I almost didn't have a brake there, but I switched hands. Because I'm using that other tire, I don't have a front brake. I'm gonna get a side ache from eating and eating and biking. I think we need to go over that bridge somehow. Right in front of us. Yeah. So we gotta go left on this road. I made it home safely! We biked pretty fast, but we were on bike paths like the whole time. And I do have bike lights. I kind of forgot that I had a bike light on my bike. I had an extra one that I gave to Emily, so we were pretty safe. And because Minneapolis is an awesome city, there are paths everywhere so we didn't really have to worry about biking on the road or anything um yeah i'm home now and i think i'm going to read my book because i already uploaded my video i did that at work at lunch and then i just got done uploading it and yeah i think it's time to read i am actually kind of excited about this book which is weird because i've never been excited about books before rarely the last book i remember reading was the hunger games freshman year of college isn't that bad? Like for, for leisure, like for fun, just to like see what happens and like follow a storyline. Like I don't do that very often. I just got done with another chapter of the book and I am hooked. I want to read more, but I need to get some sleep because some festivities are happening tomorrow that I need some sleep for. So I can't read anymore. But I don't know, the subject matter to me is very interesting and I would like to keep reading it. The book is called No Impact Man. It's about environmental stuff as of now. I mean, it's also about happiness and life and why we use the products that we use and throw them away the way we do. It's super cool. I don't know. Okay. But I need to go to bed. So like this video, give it a thumbs up, comment down below and subscribe to my channel and you will see me tomorrow. What are you gonna get?